everyone, welcome to the Explorer. Today we will look at UPSR essay writing section B. The topic for today's essay is learn English the fun way. This is the questions for section B. Let's read the question. Study the information in the flyer below and answer the questions that follow in the spaces provided. This is an advertisement about ESL Language Center. ESL Language Center. Language is Language Center is Okay, so this center, um, what's the name? Teach English. So ESL, which is English Second Language. Alright, okay. So can you read the words at the top first? ESL Language Center. Okay, so it's a um, center of learning English. Right, okay, and what you see here is an advertisement. It's a advertisement about this center. And if you join. If you enroll or you can sign if you sign up for the course in this language center you will learn English the fun way so learn English the fun way what are the benefits see so the word benefits so how true what are the benefits if you sign up for the course in this language center Okay, you some how true. Okay, look or ni ho the shuesen, so students shuesen, alright, sign up for the course. Okay, they are you can see there are four benefits. Okay, let's read the benefits. The first one free monthly issue of amazing English magazine. Free monthly issue of amazing English magazine. Magazine is charge. Okay, so you can get free monthly magazine uh, issue of amazing English magazine. Free means mean failure. Okay, monthly just make a year. So every month you will be able to get a free issue of magazine. Okay, that's the first benefit. Number two, attend English camps at a fifty percent discount. 50% discount, 58% for what? For English camps, okay? English camps, 就是英文的 camping, okay? So when you go for camps, right, organized by the language center, you'll be able to get a 50% discount. So you a 58 if you um, choose the English camps, Number three, the third one, purchase books at selected bookshops at a ten percent discount. Okay, ten percent, 十八仙的 discount 在一些 bookshops. Okay, when you buy, that's the word purchase. When students buy, purchase means buy, so buy. 都当学生买书在一些 selected. Bookshops, 就是不是全部的 bookshops， 是一些被选择出来的 bookshops， 他们就可以得到一个 ten percent discount. Okay, and the last one, dine at selected restaurants at a ten percent discount. So again, another ten percent discount if you have dinner. Okay, if you have your dinner at a selected restaurants again. Okay, 就是在一些被选出来的餐厅，你也可以在那边用餐。所以这个 dine 呢 ，dine here means, uh, usually it means that you have dinner. 就是吃晚餐的时候，你就可以拿到一个 ten percent， 得到一个 ten percent discount. Okay, these are the benefits for students if they sign up for the course in the language center. Okay, I would like you to read. Okay, let's read the benefits for students again. Free monthly issue of amazing English magazine. Attend English camps at 50% discount. Purchase books 
at selected bookshops at a 10% discount. Dine at selected restaurants at a 10% discount. Next, let's take a look at the activities. Okay, so what are the activities that students can join or participate when they signed up for the course? Okay, take a look at the activities. There are six activities. Okay, the first one, sing and learn. Okay, I'm sure you can understand. Okay, you sing and learn. Okay, of course, sing and learn, sing English songs and learn okay, from the songs. So that's for sing and sing and learn. Next, storytelling with puppets. Puppets, mo'o. So you can tell stories in English and you're going to use puppets to tell the stories. Next one, show and tell. Okay, show and you're going to tell. Okay, show what usually you say you bring something to the class and you're going to describe okay, what you have. That's show and tell. So you tie to the class and then you use English That's show and tell. All right? okay, so that's for the third activity. Fourth one, board games. Board games. So games. So the board games are usually indoor games. So uh, you see, and uh, like in English, you have Scrabble, upwards. Okay, your Chinese board games that you usually play, uh, Monopoly. No Monopoly, just by one full on um, the snakes and ladder. You know, okay, uh, those are called board games. So you can play board games. You know, uh, in the language center. Okay, next one, writing skills workshop. Writing skills, so writing is say, of course, writing in English. Okay, so say, okay, those, those will be writing. Okay, you learn how to write in English, right, in the uh, workshops. Right, and last one, learn English with cartoons and comic strips. So cartoons, comic strips, comic, okay, so you, you more interesting, right? By reading, by looking at the cartoons and also the comic strips. Okay, so these are the activities that you can uh, join, you can participate in when you enroll, okay? or when you sign up for the course in the language center. Let's read the activities again. Sing and learn. Storytelling with puppets. Show and tell. Board games. Scrabble. Upwards. Writing skills workshop. Learn English with cartoons and comic strips. Okay, let's take a look at the last two lines. You are welcome to talk to our friendly staff if you have any inquiries. Inquiries means questions. Okay, so you can talk to the language center's staff. It's called staff. Okay, so you can talk to them uh, if you have any questions. Okay, so read the sentence again. You are welcome to talk to our friendly staff if you have any questions. Last sentence, 
Sign up for our course by 1st of November and get a free notebook and a pencil case. Sign up for our course by 1st of November and get a free notebook and a pencil case. It's a free notebook and a pencil case. So you get these two items if you sign up. 就是如果你报名, okay, by, 报名, 这个课程, by 1st of November, 是十一月一号, okay? So that's all right, about the question. You're going to answer question B1. Question B1 asks you to list three benefits you are entitled to if you are a student of ESL Language Center. Okay, so what is the meaning of this question? Right, they want you to write down three benefits. Right, when you become a student of ESL Language Center. Okay, so look on the join okay look at your enroll in baoming say esl language center baoming now to see time and the share so we can do that some how to so that's benefits so please read the question okay look at the advertisement again and you'll be able to write three benefits okay so check a okay write down b and c Let's read question B2. Based on the flyer given, choose two activities that you are interested in and give reasons to support your choice. Your answer should be between 50 to 80 words. Let's look at the question again. Based on the flyer, flyer is Chuan Tan. Okay, so just now you already read the flyer. So please look at the flyer again. And now you are asked to choose two activities. Xuan Chu Liang Ge Huodong. Okay, so if you check, um, you read the activities just now, there are six activities. Now, in this essay, you need to choose two activities. That's all. Okay, 选出两个 activities that you are interested in. 就选两个 activities 你有兴趣的. Okay, 不是单有兴趣也可以写的. Alright, 你可以写多关于这个 activity. And when you write, you need to give reasons. Okay, 你必须要写一些理由 why you choose this activity. Okay, so what are the important points, important things that you have to remember when you write your essay? Okay, can you take out your pencil or your highlighter? So you're going to highlight the important words now. Okay, um, first one, two activities. So you can highlight two activities. So you need to write two activities. Right, and the next one, you need to remember to give reasons okay give reasons why you like this activity okay highlight give reasons to support your choice let's take a look at the format of the ac format You need to have four paragraphs for this AC. Paragraph one is the introduction. Paragraph two and three are the content of the AC. Right, okay, so if you check the question, question asks you to write two activities. So you're gonna choose two activities and you're gonna write in the paragraph two and paragraph two activities. And the last paragraph, you're going to write the conclusion.
Paragraph one. Introduction. What are you going to write in your introduction? Now, if you remember what I've told you before, always look at the question when you write your introduction. Okay, 对吗？所以时常要看那个问题，然后就写你的 introduction. Okay, so the question says choose two activities that you are interested in. Right? Okay, so for this question. Maybe before you write the two activities that you're interested in, you can talk about the ELS Center. Okay, 就是还没有写那个两个 activity 之前，因为你等下在第二段、第三段都会讲那个 activity 了，对吗？所以在第一段的你还没有写这个两个 activity 之前呢，你可以讲一些关于那个 ELS Center。Okay, so you you can say that the ELS Language Center offers many very interesting activities for students to learn English, right? Okay, all right. So you look at the words that I've given you. Now I'm not going to tell you in English, but you're going to write later. Okay, after listening to me, you're going to write on your own. Now tell me that. ELS Language Center, okay, offer 什么 Offer 很多很有趣的 activities 给学生来学习英文 right? So that will be your first line, 一个句子 in your introduction. 跟他讲 alright, 可以讲呃这个 ELS Center 有很多很好很有趣的 activity 学习给学生学习英文的 okay. After writing this sentence, 就是在你的 introduction 写完过后呢，我们在第二段、第三段就写那些 activities 出来了。就第二段就一个 activity， 第三段就一个 activity， 所、so、以我们就不需要再重复那个 activity 的名字 in your first paragraph. Okay, so you're going to write this first sentence in your introduction. Okay, think and write the subject. ELS Language Center. 算一个字来 ，OK. Then verb offers. Offers 什么 ？OK. Write on your own. OK. Paragraph two and paragraph three will be your activities that you are interested in. OK. So if you look at the question, there are six activities. In this essay, you should choose only two activities. So, which two activities are you going to choose? Take a look at the activities again: sing and learn, storytelling with puppets, show and tell, board games, writing skills workshop, learn English with cartoons and comic strips. You can choose any two activities. Okay, so if you would like to follow, okay, or you would like my choice of activities, then you are going to choose what I have chosen for all of you. Okay, I think it would be good to talk about sing and learn. So, 第一个我会选的。哎、right, ，帮你们一起选，我们一起选，选一个 sing and learn， 这个会比较容易讲啦。All right, okay. So, ah,、uh, first one. So you can use your pencil, tick, all right, or highlight sing and learn. And one more. I'm going to choose writing skills workshop. Okay, check writing skills workshop. So these are the two activities that we're going to choose and write it in your. Second paragraph and the third paragraph. Okay, so in your second paragraph, we're going to talk about sing and learn. So, what are you going to write? How are you going to write this point in your second paragraph? So, of course, you need to have your A、uh, first sentence. You need to write your first sentence. 就讲你喜欢的那个 activity. 
Okay, so you see, you look, you, when you read the question, it says choose activities that you are interested in. So, you just say, firstly, I'm interested in. To a long one, you can firstly, because straight away you say, I am interested in. So, you say, you say, you say, you say, you say, you say, and learn, you say. Okay, after that, you need to give reasons. Why do you choose this sing and learn activity? So, you can only say, "Sing." Do you like singing? Okay, say you like singing. Is your favorite pastime? Is your free time? Do you like singing? So you will choose this activity, right? Okay. And then, singing is is not a very good way to relax. Because you study for a long time, right? You study for a long time. 长的时间去读书，过后你要放松，你可以唱歌 ，right? So you say so, say this perfect way to unwind， 就是很很好的一个啊、uh, 方法来放松。After long hours of studying， 就是读书到很很长的时间来用来读书过后，你觉得唱歌是一个很好的方法来放松。Okay, so so you choose this activity, right? Okay, after writing that, so you tell me a little bit more. So, singing has what benefits? Can it help me? So, of course, you need to talk about English, right? Okay, so not only just to say that it is a perfect way to unwind. Okay, so you need to talk about English, right? Okay, so not only just to say that it is a perfect way to unwind. Okay, so not only just to say that it is a perfect way to unwind. Okay, so not only just to say that it is a perfect way to unwind. Okay, so not only just to say that it is a perfect way to unwind. Okay, so not only just to say that it is a perfect way to unwind. Okay, so not only just to say that it is a perfect way to unwind. Okay, so not only just 唱歌的时候，你要唱它的字，给出它的字。We call it 呃歌词，对吗？所、so, 以那个歌词 ，we call it lyrics， right？ Or the words they that you in 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 English， right？ The words in the song。所以当你学到它的歌词过后，可以怎么样？ Right？ 你可以 improve。Yes， you can improve。Can improve what？ Your English vocabulary。哎，当你读那些 lyrics 啊 ，this is the word lyrics 就是歌词，所以你读到那个歌的歌词的时候，是不是可以啊、呃、增加你的 English vocabulary？ 可以啊、um, improve 你的 English vocabulary？ Okay， so when you look at the words that I have given， 这些字我给你的写字啊，就可以帮到你写这一段了，就是你。Interest you are interested in, 那个 sing and learn, okay? 然后讲出为什么 give reasons why you liked, you are interested in sing and learn, why you liked to take part in this activity, okay? So that will be your second paragraph. Paragraph three. In the third paragraph, you can write the second activity, writing skills workshop. Okay, so this is the second activity that you are interested in. 就是写作文技巧，所以你要啊参入这一个 activity, right? So what are you going to write in your first sentence? 就要讲出来，讲你也要参入，你也是会啊、um, 喜欢这一个 activity. Okay, so I use the word join now. Don't use the word interested anymore. So you say I will also join. 你也要参入什么活动？所以写出来 That's writing skills at a workshop. Okay, so after writing this sentence, 讲你要参入这一个 writing skills workshop. You have to give reasons to support your choice. Why? Why do you want to join the writing skills workshop? Okay, maybe you can tell、uh, me that you are not good in、uh, writing. Okay, 讲你不不能，你不你不会，你不是很好。Okay, 写 good essays cannot write good essays. Okay, so 不可以写很好的一个作文，写不到，所以。你希望什么？你希望在这个 writing skills workshop 学到什么 ？Learn, 
learn the techniques and ways. Okay, techniques and ways 就是啊、um, 那些呃、uh, 方法。Okay, 那些 techniques 那个技巧。To do what? To enhance. Okay, 提升、提高。Okay, 提高你的什么？你的 writing skills， 你你学习写作文的技能。All、right， 所、so、以你想要去学多一点的 techniques and ways。All、right， 来提升、提高你的 writing skills。All、right， okay， so this will be your third paragraph， and the activities that you are going to talk about is your writing skills workshop。Okay, take a look at the words that I've given you, and you will try writing this into your composition comprehension exercise book. Third paragraph. Paragraph four, the conclusion. Okay, so in this paragraph, you will just write one sentence, right, to say to talk about the activities. 是、so, 你参加的是两个 activities 对吗？所、so, 以你只是需要讲你希望，哎，或者你很肯定 ，sure， 哎，可以说 instead of saying hope because you have used the word hope earlier， now you can use the word sure， 哎，所以我很我很相信这些活动 helped improved my English proficiency， 帮可以帮到什么这些？活动可以帮到你提高你的什么 English proficiency， 就是英文的程度，英文的水平。可以说一下你的英文会更加好。你说你相信这一些 activity 可以帮到。All right, so you're gonna write this sentence on your own. Sure. Okay, make the sentence on your own. Sure. 就是相信，肯定的意思。Activities 就是是活动。Help to bang, improve, improve, 提高。给什么 ？My English proficiency. 我英文的程度，我的英文的平水平。Okay, so write this on your own. Before you hand in your essay to me, I would like you to do two things. Number one, I would like you to check the grammar. And the sentence structures in your AC. Okay, read your AC again. Check if you have used the correct grammar. So this AC is written in the simple present tense. Okay, so make sure you have the correct verb. Okay, for that for the sentence and your sentence structure is are also good. Okay, after checking your grammar and your sentence structures, then Count the number of words, fifty to eighty words. The most you can write up to eighty-five or maybe eighty-nine words. Okay, but not more than that. So please make sure, okay, you don't write hundred words or a hundred more than hundred words. No, okay. So fifty to eighty words, the longest you can write eighty-five or eighty-eight words. Okay. So that's all. Thank you.